I was at home and I received a phone call from a driver at work that actually was having trouble breathing and it just about collapsed. When I got to work that day, uh, as soon as I entered dispatch, they said, you better go down to the other end of the yard. Uh, we've got somebody who can't breathe down there. I said, where's John? He said, he's not doing so well. I said, what do you mean? He's in there. He said, you're going to have to take a look at him. I said, what's going on? He said, just look. So I went in. He was sweating profusely down. I left him for about two, three seconds just to get on the radio and tell him that we needed an ambulance immediately. When I came back, he collapsed right out of his chair and totally went into a, like a convulsion. I got back in my car and drove down there, got out, and as soon as I got over, that's when Gerard was after having him straighten out, level out on the floor, and I immediately began CPR. Uh, I don't know how long I was doing it for, just there was no track of time. I just kept it up until I heard uh, one of the ambulance drivers say, okay, move back off and we'll take it from here. It turns out it was a severe allergic reaction. The doctors came out and told John afterwards that if it wasn't for the first aid responders, that he probably wouldn't have made it. If you have the chance, uh, it'd be worth your while to take the St. John Ambulance course. Not only will it make you feel good, but you never know, um, using this thing, the person that you save will also feel pretty good that you got it. Part of also going through St. John Ambulance is the training aspect. I mean, we give people the knowledge and the skills in order to use them, and they not only use them at work, but also at home in their personal life. Um, we're investing in our company and our employees.